Hi everyone, my name is Chen Yu Wang and my English name is Nancy. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share my research. And my research topic is analyzing for genome structure of trypanosoma grossii using electron tomography datasets from an uh, electron microscopy data bank. And the, uh, the reason why I want to research, uh, research this is that the African trypanosome meiosis. African trypanosome meiosis is a very serious disease in the uh, sub-Saharan Africa, and that's transmitted by um, Tigrosii through the bite of tsetse flies. So it's easy to be infected, and now there is no effective uh, treatment. So uh, I want uh, so I want to provide some helps and uh, for the event of uh, treatment by research the flagella. And then uh, the materials I use is the PIO-ET data related to the flagella structure of T Brusei from the EMDP website. And the cryo-ET and the electron microscope is very important for the uh, for the research because uh, micro ET is uh, used to prepare the experimental samples and the details of the worksheet is uh, has already in in my uh, in my paper and and the electron microscope is uh, used to observing and photographing experimental samples. And I identified some high quality cryo ET images, and and uh, in the result I will show what I saw and what I thought. The first, uh, I observed the uh, square, the square of nine plus two exonym and uh, uh, adjacent PFR structures. They all shown in the figure one, and I also uh, marked each uh, marked the name of each part clearly, and also draw the um, cartoon figures um, in order to uh, show the detailed structure more clearly. And uh, and then I look at the flagellum from different angles and. Uh, marks the exact length of each part. And uh, in figure two, uh, figure two shows the size and the proportion of the complete tibusia and its flagella. And because uh, flagella is a very important structure for the, uh, not only for the uh, tibusia, also for other uh, or other um, belongs to these uh, organisms, uh, and to uh, and I uh, chose three of uh, them that's normal in our life, and uh, in order to emphasize the importance of flagellum, and I chose sperm, uh, euglena, and uh, hemidonomus. And uh, the figure four uh, shows uh, the compa uh, the comparison of tubers with with uh, viruses, fungus, and bacteria. And uh, I compare them because uh, maybe after compare we can uh, have a better idea uh, about the uh, tuberosis the size. Uh, and the virus, I chose the HIV virus and uh, bacteria, I chose uh, this chemical coli. And uh, fungus, I chose saccharomyces. And, and in this picture is the histogram of the comparison. And I also uh, Observe some 
on euro and on non structures. And I indicate them um, with three different color box. And uh, in the red box, in the red box, uh, it shows the a pair of uh, outer doublet microtubules with a uh, um, protein like protruding. And I also observe some um, more similar structure of this, and I put them in the in my C. And uh, and in the blue box, I uh, I infer that is uh, PFR because it seems like uh, the parallel uh, spring like structure and uh, through the through some uh, literature and the photos in the websites. Uh, so uh, I infer that it, that is PFR structure. And the yellow box shows a uh, very straight structure, and I uh, I infer that uh, that is a connection between the uh, microtubules and the PFR, a PFR and make uh, makes them more stable. And uh, this uh, and the figure six uh, shows the special tubular structure that I observed in the PFR, uh, PFR structures, and it seems uh, they have connection between themselves. And uh, and all this uh, interesting observation shows that the flagella is a complicated uh, structure and uh, although it can divide uh, divided into different parts clearly but they work together and to uh, work together to function well so that the energy and the signals can transmit and uh, the filter control uh, and the filter control of the movement uh, of the flagellum. And uh, also in this paper, I make a uh, three hypothesis about the role of PFR. <coughs> um, first, uh, the first hypothesis is uh, I also through the literature and some uh, photos, I uh, observe that there is a gap between the PFR and the cell body. So, uh, and the gap is very small, so I think that uh, there might be two, or uh, at least two uh, powers that can maintain the small distance. And uh, so I saw the magnets. And the magnets um, because magnets have the repulsion and the attraction, so I think when they uh, affect together, uh, they will make the gap exist. And the second hypothesis is uh, the PFR acts like a muscle, and um, because uh, flagellum is a very important structure, and uh, even the uh, even the Organisms, their survival and uh, their movement uh, dependence on the uh, flagellum. So the flagellum must uh, must provide a very large power and to hold whole uh, body to move. And the flagellum can mainly divide into microtubules and. Uh, PFR, but uh, microtubules um, build up, uh, build with uh, protein tubuli, so uh, they cannot provide um, powers by themselves. So I think the PFR acts like a muscle, and PFR can provide a very large amount of power for the flagella to wiggle. And the uh, Third one is because uh because uh 
the macro tuber tubers is uh, fra uh is fragile. Um, and paper, I think, uh, can be used as a um, protective structure. Because uh, the flagellum, uh, if the flagellum swing, they will uh, provide a provide a large power and uh, and uh, the impact. So the paper maybe can uh, protect the microtubules to reduce the impact. That's all for my. Uh, for my uh, academic paper and also my uh, paper have some limitations like the uh, resolution of the tomography image is limited and also the since uh, since uh, I want to observe is really small so we cannot get uh, very clearly uh, figures and uh, the second is the knowledge cover in high school is limited, and uh, and uh, also I read a lot of literature, but I cannot really understand uh, the terminology and the experiment experiments involved. So uh, this too is the mainly uh, limitations, and uh, in the end I really hope that my research can uh can be helpful for the event although uh, although my research is shallow and uh and i really hope that uh, african uh trip uh can uh can never be um uh, can never be torture people again and that's all thank you for watching and listening